Hi, and welcome to Lessons with Cameron. Today we're going to do a little bit of finger exercises, just some short, sweet stuff to get you uh, something to add to your daily warm-up to help you improve your speed, accuracy, and give you extra uh, control of that pinky finger. So here we go. What I want you to do is put your fingers in first position. So that's first finger on the first fret, second finger over the second fret, third finger on the third fret, fourth finger on the fourth fret. We're going to do down strokes to this whole exercise um, until we get a complete control of it going down. Then we're going to go back and do alternating strokes through the whole thing. So it works like this. So we're going to go from the lowest sixth open E string and we're going to play each fret under each finger one at a time. First finger, first fret, second finger, second fret. Third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. Then we're going to go to the next string and repeat the steps. Zero, one, two, three, four. Same thing on the fourth string. The third string. Second string. And the last string. So, then we're going to do it backwards. Next thing we want to do is connect it all together and have it flow nice and evenly. Now I have one part in here where we play the same note two times in a row. There's two reasons for that. One, the pinky needs the extra work, and two, we want to highlight the differences of those two strings. We want to know where that overlap is. So when we're changing between the G and B strings, um, we know to accommodate for the one fret difference, because the G and B are the only two strings on the guitar tuned differently than all the rest. So we're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a very simple exercise, but gives you that pinky. And once you're used to using your pinky, you will be so glad you did. So next step we're going to do is we're going to go through a major scale. A major scale is done by basically playing the following intervals from anywhere on the guitar. All the major scales sound the same basically because they basically are the same in the sense that they're all made of the same building blocks. Those building blocks are like this. We start with the, we're going to go with the E string and we're going to go all the way up to the 12th fret. Uh, 12 half steps gives us one full octave which is the uh, range that we need to create a scale uh, of seven tones. So here's the E scale. We're going to start with the open first string. We're going to go a whole step or two frets to the F sharp. We're going to go another whole step, two more frets to the G sharp, and we're going to place our pinky at the fifth fret for an A, and that's our first four notes. E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. But we can also think of them as one, two, three, and four. We're going to go up two more frets, and we're going to repeat the same interval spacing from here. We're going to go whole step, whole step, half step. So we're going to do a whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half. Then we go a whole step, and then we do another whole, whole, half. What you want to do is go up and down this particular scale quite a few times until you really memorize the sound of one. The next step is going to be to take it across the strings so we don't have to move our hand up and down so much. The process for building these scales, because it's universal, we can move to any string and use the same exact frets and get another major scale. Whatever string that is, is the scale you're getting. So if we did it on, say, the D string, we'd be playing a D scale. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to put it in a pattern uh, that will allow us to play the entire scale in one little section without having to go all the way up and down the neck. So the first thing uh, we want to do is we're going to pick a scale, got to pick a scale, so we're going to go with the A scale. The A is your fifth string open, so the notes of that scale would then be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. C sharp D E F sharp G sharp A. We're going to go over here to the uh, fifth fret of the E string, 
and start with this particular A. It's a doubling of the same fifth fret of the, or the same fifth string, also our tuning reference note. So we're gonna go with the pinky on the fifth fret, and we're gonna go to B. There's our hat or a whole step. We're gonna go a whole step to the fourth fret. We're gonna go a half step to the fifth fret. So we're going from the from here at the A, B, C, D. Now with the whole step, we're just gonna step down to our one finger again and play the E here. We're gonna go another whole step here. Now to get this next whole step, we could either place our pinky out here, <clears throat> or we could step our index back. I prefer to step my index back, so back it goes. Now we have a half step. It's the last note of our scale. Now the reason I'm avoiding using open strings in this particular pattern is because I actually want to be able to move this pattern to accommodate other major scales. So say we're playing in a different major. How about it's in B major? B major is pretty tricky down here at the nut, but if we move it up the neck, we can use this exact same shape we had here of five, two, four, five, two, four, one, two. We can move it up two frets. And now it's a B scale. So we've got a B, a C sharp, a D sharp, an E, an F sharp, a G sharp, an A sharp, and a B. So there we have it. Uh, we have a couple exercises. This guy. And we have this guy. And the idea here, of course, is to take those intervals and run with them, uh, because that's ultimately what music is all about. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.